Hello, welcome back. My name is Chris Miller, and in today's video tutorial, we're going to take a look at a WordPress plugin called FakerPress. Now, when you first hear that name, it sounds kind of scary, but what it actually does is load data into your site or fake data into your site. We'll take a look at how that works and why we might use it as a developer. So let's get started. We're here on our local WordPress, our test site, our local test WordPress site. And we're gonna go over here to plugins, add new, and we're gonna do a search for faker. Let's see if we even have to do, there we go. First hit there, 20,000 active installs, faker press. Faker press is a clean way to generate fake and dummy content to your WordPress and then great, I, I don't know. Anyway, we are going to click install now. And by the way, thanks to uh, Gustavo, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, for making this plugin. It's been super, super helpful when developing WordPress themes. Uh, all right, click active, it is active. Now we've got this new menu icon down below on the bottom left-hand corner. If we click that, we are going to be taken to the dashboard screen uh, for this plugin, which just says erase faked data. We will do that here in a little bit, but first what we wanna do is we wanna come down here and take a look at our options. We have posts, comments, terms, and users. We're gonna be focusing on posts specifically for this video, but the same is going to apply across comments, terms, and users as well. So what we learn here in posts, you'll apply to these other sections too. Okay, so um, posts, again, in the world of WordPress, especially if you're new, um, the word posts is, is you are used, am I saying that correctly? Posts are used to describe um, many different types of content. We call those content types. And the confusing part about it, or it can be the confusing part about it, is it's also the name of a content type uh, or a post type that's already defined out of the box called posts. So that is kind of the confusing part, but media is considered a posts, pages are considered a posts, and whenever you define custom post types, those are all types of posts. I mentioned that because here under post type, even though we've selected that we want to fake a bunch of posts, we would define what post type do we want to fake the posts in. It already has uh, posts selected, but of course, Pages come up too as an option because that is a post type. We're gonna not uh, fake any pages though. We're gonna go ahead and, and delete that. We're just only going to do posts. <coughs> Sorry. So the quantity, uh, we wanna do somewhere between four and let's say eight. And uh, then on the date, we're gonna keep it to yesterday, uh, 123. And we can, of course, do a range if we wanted to. Now we're gonna skip down here to parents. What post can be chosen as a parent to the ones created? We're gonna leave that blank, but if you had a particular setup where you needed some data that had parents, you can certainly use that. We're gonna say a comment status. We're gonna not allow comments. So comments closed. Author, choose some authors to, uh, or choose some users to be the author. Um, we're just going to go ahead and choose admin, which is the only account that we currently have configured. Use HTML on the randomized post content. Yes, we want that. Content size, 6 to 15. Sounds good to me. And that's how many paragraphs are going to be generated. The HTML tags, these are all the allowed tags that we want to have when the HTML is uh, generated. So we'll go ahead and keep that as is. Image providers, placehold it in Lorem Pixum. I'm not sure. I guess those are the only two providers, which which are great. Those are fine. And then taxonomy field rules uh, current, currently. And then taxonomy field rules. Currently, there are tags and categories as the default taxonomies. And if you define other types of taxonomies, you can select those from the list as well. Uh, we'll leave that. Um, on and which terms can be used. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that wants us to do. I, I'm not even going to take a guess, but yeah, we'll 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 figure it out. We'll we'll see as as we go. 
Okay, rate 85% rate of posts uh, that will have terms generated for the amount below. So that's going to be hit or miss. And then the quantity, how many terms can be selected one to four. And then the last thing that we're going to review here before we generate these uh, posts uh, are the meta field rules. So attachment is going to refer, I'm pretty sure, to the featured, uh, the featured image uh, for, for the post. So we're going to say attachment, thumbnail ID, attachment ID. And we're going to keep all of this the same. Of course, you can go in here and configure it however you would like. So we just hit generate. And this might take 10, 15 seconds. So let's just give it a bit. And whenever it's done, it should give us the IDs of the posts that it faked. So it faked six posts. And it looks like our IDs are 90, 95, 98, 101, 104, and 107. If we scroll up to the top, keep in mind, we said somewhere between four and eight. And it decided to do six. So now if we go over to posts, back to the top left, posts, we can see here one, two, three, four, five, six. We do indeed have six. The author has been set to admin and the categories is currently uncategorized. And remember, I'm not quite sure um, what the settings could or should be. Again, uh, that is going to be, I think, uh, based on your situation, now, if we click through to one of these posts, I wonder if we will see, yes, we see all of our content here in the WYSIWYG. And this is all the faked content that it put into place. And I'm not seeing the featured image, and I'm wondering if it's just because if the featured image is not, is it not visible, or maybe it's not set. It might not have theme support uh, enabled for this particular theme so that said if you had let, let's go check out pages and see if pages has it enabled no it doesn't okay never mind if you have uh featured images enabled then you will have seen uh you will have seen the featured image set there but no biggie no harm no foul here we are though and as a developer if you're creating a plugin or a theme you would be able to use a query now to fetch all this data and do what you need to do uh, without having to manually create a ton of posts for your test data. Now, when you're done and you're ready to purge all of this, we can erase fake data. It says to erase all data generated, type let it go. So we're gonna paste that in there, hit delete, and all data is gone for good. So now click on posts and it's gone. Thanks so much. If you enjoyed it, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. If you're on Twitter, come find me at Miller T. Chris and check out some of the other videos that are on this channel.